Hi, I'm Rick from Rick's Vintage Guitars. Today I'd like to show you a beautiful 1973 P bass. This one is very, very well worn. As you can see, all the paint, all the finish, the sunburst finish, has actually been sort of worn off or, or chipped off, picked off. Um, it also has a beautiful tortoiseshell pick guard which has shrunk ever so slightly. The original thumb rest has two screws here which, which were there, they're not there now, it's actually missing the thumb rest. Plus it has two extra holes here where an added thumb rest was placed and again they, those are missing. The pickup covers and screws have been replaced. Um, as you can see on the close-up photos, uh, a lot of the old P-bases, the screws became so rusted as to be, you weren't able to undo them. So therefore new screws were put in and new covers. The tailpiece on this particular one is a soft radius with the threaded grooved saddles, which is sort of typical of a, of a uh, mid-60s to late-60s style uh, bridge. One pot has been changed. Uh, it's a 137 pot with an 89 date. Um, the back of the guitar, I'd like to show you that, is definitely well worn. This one came from the swamps of Louisiana and um, it was saved before the cyclone or as the Americans say, the hurricane got there. It also features, I'll show you here, the tuners are the, the reverse turn tuners. Um, the fretboard is in great condition. The frets are in excellent condition. Naturally, it has been um, refretted over its lifetime. But overall, it's an excellent P base. Just on the headstock here, I'd like to show you um, where a cigarette burn has been you know, sort of put on there. Um, other than that, it is a lightweight base, so this would be ideal for someone who's you know, either smaller or, or a girl player. If you're um, looking for a P base with lots of vibe, lots of character, this is the one for you. I haven't got the exact weight yet, I'm waiting on a set of scales and as soon as they come in I'll be able to put the weights on the website as well. So if you have any questions regarding this particular P-Bass or any other basses or any guitars for that matter, please feel free to uh, send me an email which is now above me or, um, or, or I'm just look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.